Nico and the three million for inviting me to speak about our campaign this evening. Our campaign, One Day Without Us, um, came out, it was a response to the madness of the referendum. Um, it kind of came into being more or less at the same time. The three million supported us from the very beginning, and we supported them. Um, we were migrants and supporters of migrants, British nationals, EU nationals, non-EU migrants, all of us who were disgusted and horrified by the rise in xenophobic and racist hate crime, by the politicians who played cynical games with the lives and futures of EU citizens, and by the constant and relentless vilification of migrants and foreigners in this country. We believed then, last October, when our campaign first came into being, we believed then, and we believe now, that the fight to defend the rights of EU citizens is part of the fight to defend the rights of migrants wherever they came from, however they came here, and whatever ju legal jurisdiction they came under. So last February, on February the 20th, tens of thousands of people took part in the first ever National Day of Action, celebrating the contributions that migrants make in communities across the country. Next February, 17th of February, we're planning to do another day of action. Uh, why do we want to do this? We want to do it because all of us recognize, all of us who are involved in the campaign recognize that we are now at a critical period in the history of this country. What we do and what we don't do over the next two years will determine the futures of millions of people. It will also shape the character of our country. At present, the UK is being driven by fear hatred and prejudice to act against its own best traditions and against its own national interest in its treatment of EU citizens and migrants in general. We cannot stand by and allow this to happen. There are some times when you have to be in politics because politics just grabs hold of you. This is one of those times. Passivity is not an option. Now is the time for all of us who believe in a different UK to come forward and make our voices heard. We do not want a hostile environment. We do not want a country where nurses and doctors act as immigration cops. We do not want a country where families are separated by arbitrary income thresholds. We want a society that is inclusive, tolerant, open to the world, comfortable with diversity. We want a society that values and welcomes the migrants who come here, who are people, who are people something we forget too often, who are people with rights who have come here to live, to work and study. And we don't just mean people who are migrants now. Migration helped build the UK. Millions of us are descendants of migrants. And so on 17th of February, we want to celebrate that heritage and that history too. Because make no mistake about it, no one and no group can consider themselves immune to the dangerous forces that have been unleashed by this referendum. The monsters are out of the box, and it is our duty to put them back before they wreck everything that we've achieved together. And that's why we ask you to join us on February the 17th. Celebrate migrants and migration with us. Stand with us and help make that positive case for migration that is so rarely heard in these countries.